Previously on Selling Zatara. We brought you deep into our crazy home for a day in the life at Anchorage. From morning to afternoon, all the way to bedtime. Love you. Good night. Good night. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water Surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved Here in my iguana in the far out Bahamas here, just north of West Caicos, about 50 miles. We chose this spot because uh, a cold front blew through and we wanted to be have some decent shelter. This is pretty wide open on the south side of the island. So predict wind showed us having a big uh, cold front come through and showed us a bunch of wind coming through and it actually predicted the, the peak winds to be right. Whereas the local forecasts were a little off, so that's you know it's always good to have good forecasting. But we've had you know 35, 40 knot gusts coming through here, averaging about 25 sustained wind. Once the north blew through, the northern blew through, the cold front blew through, the wind switched around to the south, or south of east, east southeast. So we just had pretty heavy sustained winds in the uh, bay here. Because we're, in order to anchor here in Mayaguana, you gotta anchor a long way from land, so the fetch gets pretty high in here. You probably got, well, we probably got one meter fetch just rolling across here, so it makes for a lumpy ride. It's hard to really do anything, even though I got a big go fast dinghy. You still get wet if you go anywhere in it, and it's just uh, been a couple of days, three days sitting on a boat, just doing boat chores and getting things done. But here in a minute, I'm going to go down and show you guys what our ultramarine anchor looks like. Um, we've been hammered by these 30 to 40 knot gusts of wind, and, and uh, show you how our road looks and how that anchor looked, and we hadn't moved an inch. So look forward to seeing that. So we'll be leaving here tomorrow and uh, sailing up to Rum Key and then over to the Exumas. So stay tuned, folks. Yeah, I was thinking about, I, I looked on the map and on the northwest side of this island, there's a really nice protected anchorage from this wind and swell we're getting here. I was thinking about running, it's only, well, once we get to the cut, it's six miles up the coast on that northwest side. What do you think about that? What, to hang for a couple hours? Yeah, or even if the wind weather doesn't improve, so you could stay there, you know, you could stay there indefinitely unless a north blew in. Well, if I'm going to sit somewhere, I'd like to be in a nice place. All right, so what are you thinking? Take off here in just a bit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and just go out that cut. And then now the only trouble, Ed, if it's not, if, if for some reason the swell is breaking into that cut on that other side, uh, we're going to have to keep going. Yeah, copy that. Yeah, we're going to rally a group to lift the dinghy. All right, let me know. We need air. We need what? We need Everybody? to secure everything. Oh because when we go outside here, it's going to be. Rolling, 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 poly. Bucking, bucking, Georgie. Bucking Broncos. All right, bub. I'm not going to 
an anchor over here around the corner. We're going all the way. Why? Because we got good seas, good wind. It's just easier. We'd only be able to anchor for an hour or two, and then we'd have to leave. Because we've got a weather window up there. we got to get in before the winds turn to the north again. A lot of these little cold fronts rolling through here that are that are switching things around. So how long is this? Overnight? Yeah. Just be there tomorrow morning ish? Seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Is this following along? Yeah. overnight for a while uh, till we till we leave for right yeah and we're coming back down this way yay I'm so excited I know. So we're heading all the way to Rum Key, unfortunately, but it'll be our last overnight sail for uh, a few weeks. Well, until we leave Florida. Until we leave Florida. He's got the motor turned off and sails out, and we are making seven and a half knots just with our sails. Passage. We've had uh, three to four meter seas right on the starboard aft quarter, and uh, we've had good winds just flying to Genoa. We'll make uh, Rum Key in the morning, but uh, nice big rolling seas. We hadn't had this big of seas, I don't think, in a while. Uh -uh. I can't remember the last time we had four meter seas. Uh -huh. They're not like that now, but they were. When pulling into a shallow man creature like this, we have to make sure to have a couple of extra eyes out front making sure we steer clear of any coral heads or bombies. We dove here two years ago when we were in the monohull, and I think it was more colorful then. The recent hurricanes seem to have stirred up the sand and the silt and damaged some of the life that was down here. Before I knew it, I was down to 117 feet, and Susan was about 20 feet below me. These walls drop down thousands of feet. It's an entire underwater world down here. Jack's patiently waiting for us at the surface with the dinghy, so when the dive is over, he helps us with our gear and drives us back to the boat.
both hands on the bar. I got you. Okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Right it. Yep. Right, right it up. Oh. Okay, so both hands on the both hands on the box. Okay, go. Arms in. There you go. Tuck. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Anna wants something special. Tell us, Anna, what is it special that you want? She wants a pussy cat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She wants a kitty cat. Yep. And I want it to be my friend. <laughs> I want it to live on the boat with me. <laughs> we might make that happen. She's gonna be. I have so many friends that are allergic to cats, though. I know that's a problem. We'll my see what we can do. Relatives are allergic. We'll Aiden see what we can do. Allergic. Oh. Sure. That's okay. I don't need them. I just need my cat. I need a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Drug, sex, rock, and roll. Okay. I don't think you should know what those things are. Yeah. Well, he should know how to avoid them. That's true. You don't want to avoid rock and roll. Well, you know. Wow. When I grew up, rock and roll was the music Matt of the devil. Yeah. Rock and roll. Michael Jackson was evil. <laughs> I think he really was evil. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go diving again to some wreck. Keith is filling up tanks. Okay, you gonna go diving? I am. I am. I'm gonna free dive. Awesome. I'm gonna free dive. I'm gonna go 80 feet. <laughs> Excellent. The HMS Conqueror was an English ship that wrecked here in 1861 and luckily no one died. The dive was fun but my mask was leaking the whole time so I kind of had to go for a short time. Even though it was my first wreck dive and it was all scattered around, I thought it was pretty cool. The next two days were really easy. We sailed from Run Key to Staniel Key at an average of nine knots. We covered 100 miles easy, 70 miles one day and 30 miles the next day with no overnight sailing. This is what cruising should look like. Coasting along nicely with just enough wind to take us right where we wanna go. Enjoying the ride till we get to a new destination. Being able to go eight, nine, ten knots makes a difference between Overnights and not overnights, and smooth sailing. We got 25 knots of wind on the aft port quarter, and yeah, we're doing 10 knots. And, I mean, we can go someplace in three hours that normally would have taken us six hours to go on our old monohull. I like not having a night shift when you go fast. I know. That's awesome. And I beat Wiz all the time, so that's always good. That's important. <laughs>
Dragon Jack. Yep. Hey, swim down there and see if it's sand or what is it? What does he think about the? It's just rock. It's just laying on there. It ain't even. It's just sitting on top. Sit on top. Yeah. Does it look like the points in anything? I, I pulled it up. So just the chain and the weight of the chain is what's holding us here. Uh, and this rock? Feels like it. Well, we better pull it up and move, shouldn't we? I'm just going to wait for everything to settle. Okay. <sighs> wait for everything to settle as we drift back into the rocks. We're not drifting. Yeah. We're gonna pull the anchor now. Where's Jack? He's out there. All right. Tell me something good, Jack. Jack, go ahead and put the bridle on there. Jack, go ahead and put the bridle on there. It's really dark and gloomy today. We can't go to the pig beach because it's kind of cold and windy. We're going to wait for tomorrow for the sun to come out. But we have found a smell. It's bad. It's really bad. And so we have uh, decided to, what, remove the whole freezer? Well, mom thinks it's fish that got thawed and so all the gross juices drain down. And now yeah. this, we have this gross. No, it didn't come out of this freezer. That's what I thought because there it was no hole. It came out of here down the vent hole. The tube and maybe the so tube. what was in there? I don't know. That fish was down there that thawed and it was nasty. But it smells like really bad. It smells trap. like fish. I was not. I didn't know the fridge could come out. Well, it had to go in. <laughs> it had to go in. <laughs> she thought the boat was built around. Yeah. The appliances. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> There's a like little. Box no, you're too far. A box. To There's a box. There's a box there. Yeah, and it has a drain that goes yeah, down. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's it. That's, that's plugged up. No, this, it's this tube. Yes, that's plugged up. Where? On the top? That goes to the bilge. And it's holding all that liquid in there. <sighs> and then it runs here and it sits down here and it sits in there. And it goes to stinking in both three places. <laughs> under the fridge, yeah. in here, and in here. Right, yeah, so I'm going to pour some more water down this and we're just going to kind of flush that bowl down there. Yeah, why would they? Okay, that's enough of that. Just set it on the stove. And it goes down there. And then drains over there. As I see it. I'll shut back. And I want it. I can't smell it. I... Uh, it's coming out the back of the exhaust on that. Oh, jeez. Open up a window. Oh, my God. Can I put something over it? That's that's it. I think that's it. I don't know, but y'all are grossing me out. Yeah, Jack, I don't want to pull this out again. Vacuum it all around there. See if you can suck anything up off the floor. You want to help away? I got it. So you think that fixed it? Maybe. I can only hope. Yeah, that well, was like well, things you're gonna help. It's like curdled Ugh. milk or sour cream or something. Teach you to put a leaking carton in there. I don't know what was leaking. Ugh. Where would we be without a shot back though, y'all? Alright. Okay. Okay, yay, bye bye. Ugh. Just don't do it where the wind is gonna blow her back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've got to see. Guys, look at the little one. There's Here we are, back at Pig Beach. Big. There's babies as big. Yep. Oh, I gotta go wow. see them. Is this one's name Keith? <laughs> Hi, Keith. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I 
I'm not going to hurt your babies. I'm not going to hurt your babies. Okay, I'll back up just a little because you're kind of intimidating. You gotta go, you can't think, you just gotta go, you can't think about it. Uh, I've already thought about it! Well then, two, three, two, two, I don't want to! I just don't want to! And who's gonna All do right. it? Alright, I'll go. I don't want dad to go. Okay, watch. I don't want dad to go because he's your friend. Alright, okay, but watch. This is it, this is it, this is how you do. You just, you just do dad, this. Dad, no! Okay, watch, you just do this. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Q&A session. G-Man asked question, is bigger really better? <laughs> G-Man, we appreciate you watching, we appreciate you watching all our shows. And is bigger really better? With For a family of six, bigger is really better. The boat that we got now, it handles better, it handles uh, the seas better. I mean, three to five uh, foot seas are nothing now, or one to two meter seas, three meter seas, they're, they're really nothing now, especially going across them or downwind. Uh, we haven't gone upwind too much and into the seas or done a beat too much into big seas, but the bigger boat is definitely going to handle the seas a little better, whether it's a monohull or a catamaran. And so, uh, we like the space. Our children like the space. It's definitely worth doing if you're going to be long-term liveaboards and long-term out on the water. So, once again, G-Man, thanks for watching and thanks for the questions. All right, our next question is from Miko San. We appreciate you watching once again, and they've asked uh, how big a catamaran would be sufficient for two people for offshore sailing. And I tell you, the smaller catamarans, and I haven't sailed on any of them, but the smaller ones, the 40-footers, the 50-footers out there, the, the, the smaller ones, when you, when you see them out there bouncing around on the waves because of the shortness of them, they look like they're having a little bit of a ride out there. So it might be a little more comfortable to have a longer, sleeker catamaran than a shorter one. Uh, that's just my opinion. I don't have any facts to back that up except for what I see those smaller catamarans doing when we're sailing by them in our catamaran. I know a lot of people who have just crossed the oceans on Lagoon 39s and 40s and 42s. So, once again, that's that's happening all the time. It's just uh, you sure want to check that ride out before you buy it and go out in some blue water and see what that ride's like and get out there in some 
two, three, four meter seas on the beam and put that boat in all different kinds of points of sail so you can really see how it feels for a couple hours with uh, the weather going different directions. Once again, thanks for watching. We appreciate your support. Join us again next Thursday. To get notifications of new episodes, subscribe to our channel and make sure to click the bell. See you next time.